All right, well, we're starting to work with kind of color palettes and things like that. So I wanted to talk a little bit about basic color theory. In our world as cartographers, we mostly work within uh, two color spaces. And what I mean by color spaces, how do we represent color kind of on the medium uh, in which we were working? And the first medium I want to talk about is, is screens. And with screens, we do what's called additive color mixing, where we use red, green, and blue um, in the form of light on your computer screen. So the computer uses red, green, and blue, kind of this very vibrant green and it's very saturated blue. And at every pixel, we, we would mix these three. We would add them together. And if we add all forms of light together and we project them all out from the computer at the same time, we get white. If we only do the red or only the green or only the blue in different proportions, we can kind of get a huge variety. So white would be full value from each of the three primary colors of light. And black would be the absence of all light. So screens kind of shine light at us, and that's how they mix color. Um, if we go to a page, though, it's called subtractive, because if you can imagine, a page can't really shine things at you. It has to have light um, reflected off from it. So it's called subtractive um, color mixing, which is a little confusing, because here it's the other way around. Um, when you have this you know, yellow, uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, the idea is that when you add all these colors together, you're actually subtracting the amount of light that's coming back at you. So in this case, the white is actually the absence of pigment. So you, you have yet to subtract any light that's being reflected back, and white is usually the color of the page, um, whereas black is kind of um, everything has been subtracted. You've added all the pigment you can, and no light is being reflected back or very minimal light is being reflected back from the page but these two systems kind of how printers and screens represent color isn't really how our brain works um, most designers use what's called hue saturation and brightness though sometimes brightness is called value and all that means is is that um, we've got kind of a radial scale, 0 to 360 for, for the representation of hue, where 0 and 360 are both red. Uh, and all the spectrum of every color you can imagine is in between. And then um, saturation deals with not just the raw hue value, but how uh, dull or full saturation it is. So when you have a zero saturation, that means everything would be black and white or grayscale. And full saturation means there's no deadening of the color. The color is at full value, as it would be kind of appear as a raw color value on a screen. And brightness means um, how close on the scale from white to black is it? Where on that scale? Is it closer to white or is it closer to black? And these are both 0 to 100 scales. So, for instance, um, the color of let's say, of brown might be a uh, 30 or a 20 uh, orange value on the hue. It's maybe 50% saturated, and it's dark. Maybe it's 30% um, bright. So those type of values will, will kind of prove more useful as we go forward. Uh, it's useful to know that just because you're designing with hue, saturation, or brightness doesn't mean that the computer knows that these are the values you care about. The computer has to translate these values to RGB values or CMYK values. So when we start designing uh, maps, try to be conscious of the fact that you're designing for the screen, where you can use very vivid colors that won't show up in ink, or are you designing for print? And depending on which one you're designing for, make sure that what you design in HSB or HSV can be translated to CMYK or RGB, and we'll get into that as we go forward. Okay, good luck.